Hey, give me the chip, I need the championship. Wait, we got a drink, they to the team, yeah, we can handle it. Wait, as soon as I go and I step in arenas, they call me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Fin Sports Podcast. So tonight we're doing a Tuesday video, even though we committed to a Wednesday video. And we just want to give a couple updates. Number one, um, we want to give the updates on the replacement for Jalen Phillips. And it's not who you think it is. But the second thing is we want to go over is my picks for week 12. So the results are in. And uh, I'm only 500. If this was baseball, I'd be in the Hall of Fame. But this is not baseball. So 500 the important thing is that I guess the right score for the Dolphins game. So the Dolphins game, I had it 35-6, and they won 34-13. So that's as part as close as we're ever going to get. So we were 6-6, six and six, and I for, for somehow forgot the Colts game. So I just wanted to uh, tell you guys that I have the scores there. Uh, they're on the thumbnail, and... Um, again, I will be keeping track of the score. I'm six and six for the year, and we'll continue this throughout the season and see if I can improve. I'll try not to let my heart do the picking, and I'll try let to to let the the results do a little more of the speaking because I I picked against the Chiefs, and they obviously won. I thought that they weren't going to have any offense, and they ended up clobbering the. Las Vegas Raiders. So that wasn't a good pick. Um, on the other hand, I did pick the Broncos and Russ was cooking and the Broncos upset the Cleveland Browns without a quarterback. So uh, that was a good pick. And now we're off uh, on to next week. And tomorrow I'll cover the Commanders and the Dolphins. And we are going to talk about all the other NFL games later on on Friday. So for tomorrow, we will talk about the preview of the Dolphins commander. So stay tuned for that. And for the updated news for the Dolphins. So there was a press conference on Monday. Uh, Coach Meg Coach McDaniel uh, talked about the, uh, the hard knocks. And he talked about uh, that he didn't steal uh, his wife from the running back. And there was just a lot of fun bantering going on with the coach, uh, but no good news coming out of there. He didn't give us a good report on the injuries. He only said the Teron Armstead could have gone back in the game. There are some people out there on the web that are saying that Teron Armstead is going to be out indefinitely. But according to the Dolphins themselves are saying that he could have played last week and he is still week to week. And we're going to see if he can go this week against the commanders. The last thing is uh, Jeff Wilson apparently gave the motivating speech for Black Friday. And Jeff Wilson, um, apparently he's, uh, he's a big, uh, he's a big rah-rah guy. And he does a lot of the motivational speeches for the team, even uh, I guess, even when he's not playing. So, Shout out to Jeff Wilson for pumping up the team for Black Friday and the win. And then everyone else was talking about stepping up for uh, Mr. Jalen Phillips with injury with the Achilles. And late yesterday, uh, the Dolphins signed JPP, not JP, but JPP, John Pierre Paul. And that is off the practice squad for the Saints. I still don't expect him to play a whole lot because Van Ginkle was able to do a fantastic job when he was playing in for Jalen Phillips earlier this year. And so we expect JVP to be more of an insurance policy. I'm not even sure he's going to get on the field anytime soon because he couldn't get on for the Saints. So he's definitely not getting on for the Dolphins. So uh, again, thank you guys. Have a great rest of your night. And we will see you tomorrow with the Dolphins versus the Commanders. Peace.